Hey guys, today I'll be walking through a full disassembly and service of a graphics card of this size. Normally it's enough to just blow out the dust using compressed air, but if you want to fully clean your card or the dust buildup is simply too much, then this video is for you. Before tearing down your card, bear in mind that a full disassembly will void your card's warranty and if you're not careful there's risk of damage. But if they're fairly old and you're confident in working with this kind of componentry, then by all means. An ideal place to start is to look for disassembly videos of your own card. While GPUs of this size are built similarly, there may be a few quirks that if you're not aware of, things could go downhill very quickly. Again, make sure you know what you're doing. Let's go over some tools. I have some Phillips head screwdrivers, a 5mm spanner or hex multibit, I could only find this wrench, a cleaning cloth, toothbrush, thermal paste, and lastly, isopropyl alcohol, conveniently in this shot glass, uh, but don't drink it, it's toxic. Firstly, I'd go for the PCI slot bracket. There's a screw on its left side, holding the bracket itself and the housing together, depending on your model. Then use your spanner or hex bit to unscrew the bolts from the VGA or DVI ports. These aren't screwed in Gorilla Tight, bear that in mind. And the bracket can come off. Let's remove the housing and heatsink from the PCB. Remove the four heatsink screws, including that one with the sticker on, voiding your warranty. Check for any other screws and gently separate the two. They'll still be held together by the fan, so with care, go ahead and disconnect it. If your GPU has additional heat sinks and the like, feel free to disassemble them if it helps with the cleaning. Remove three inner screws and four outer ones behind the fan to separate it, the heatsink, and the housing. Now this is a good time to inspect your card. In my case, the GTX 650 hadn't been opened since dust is almost baked into the PCB, the thermal paste is solid and that obvious warranty sticker. My R7-260X, however, still had fresh thermal paste with minimal dust, so the pass owner looked after it pretty well. Uh, except that heatsink, that was probably dropped. Anyways, just start cleaning. PCBs are pretty tough, but you should be careful when wiping near tiny capacitors and the like. If dust is baked in, like in my GTX 650, dip your cloth in isopropyl and wipe it off. It might take a bit of effort. Oh yeah, and don't forget to wipe off the thermal paste with isopropyl, otherwise they'll get everywhere. Next, the heatsink. A good brushing will do, though for more extreme cleaning, using running water may be a better choice. Just make sure it's thoroughly dried. The rest of the parts just need a good wiping down. Housing, PCI bracket, fan, DVI ports, and you know, the such. We can now assemble the card. Clean the GPU dye in heatsink and isopropyl for good measure and apply a rice grain size amount of thermal paste onto the dye. Bear in mind that, you know, it's, the size is different depending on model. Correctly position the heatsink and align it to the PCB and press down. Apply the four heatsink screws, tightening them as evenly as possible while pressing down, else you won't get the best contact. Assemble any other heatsinks that came with the card. Place the fan within the housing and connect it before screwing them down to the heatsink. Not all cards have its fan connector placed outside. Finally, the PCI slot bracket. Tighten those hex bolts, again, not Gorilla tight, and that Phillips screw and you're done. I mean, just look at them. They look much better. While tearing down my R7-260X was more like an inspection, the GTX 650 really needed that maintenance. And there's this peace of mind knowing that both these cards have been looked after and can last for a real long time. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful or unhelpful, you know what to do. And if you wish to join me in my PC budget journey, feel free to press that sub button. See you soon.